Hey folks, this is going to be a really quick tutorial about Tmux, which is a Linux program that I use quite often, especially when I'm SSH'd onto a remote server. If my connection drops, I don't want to lose my entire terminal session. So what with Tmux, I can just reattach back to it whenever I reconnect. It does something similar to screen if you're familiar with that, but it offers a lot more features that we'll get into. On an Archbase system, you can install Tmux like other things from Pacman. And you can set a tmux configuration file in your home directory with the file name .tmux.conf and tmux will automatically pick it up when it runs. So let's take a look at what I'm doing in my tmux.conf file. So in tmux there's a prefix for all commands and by default it's set to control B and that's quite difficult to reach on your keyboard so I reminded this to control A. Let's open up a tmux session. I will turn on screen key so that you guys can see the keys that I'm pressing and let's start up tmux. So by default, it looks pretty similar. You guys will have a green bar at the bottom, which I've set to black just to make it so it's not so blinding to me. But I'm inside a Tmux session right now. The zero window at the bottom, so the zero, the first zero is the Tmux session ID, and the second zero is the window I'm in. And I can create new windows by Control A C. And each window generally displays, by default, the name of the window is usually the program that's running. So if I'm running sleep 10 here, and if I go into a different window, you can see that 3 is set to sleeping, it's sleeping. So I know that it's doing something. Um, if I have a vim session open here, um, the window name changes to me of vim. That's, that's nice. And I can switch between windows with Control a n to go forward, Control a p to go backwards. The reason I started using Tmux was for long running scripts on remote servers. So, so you can actually detach from Tmux sessions and you can attach back to Tmux sessions. So let's say I am going to sleep for 10 seconds and then I'm going to echo done after I'm done with that. So I'm going to actually detach from this session. So now the script is still running in the background because despite me being detached from that Tmux session, I can use Tmux ls to see all the Tmux sessions available to me that are running right now, and I can attach to a session by just doing Tmux attach that session dash t, and in my case zero. And you can see that it's already done because while I was talking, the script actually finished, and you can see that all my windows are also preserved. So Tmux also offers vertical and horizontal splits, kind of similar to Vim, so I can do control A um, slash backslash and control A dash to do the splits now, because this is based off of my tmux.com file where I set backslash to split horizontally and dash to split vertically. And I'm navigating through these splits using just control H, control J, control K, control L. So if you're just using Tmux, there's a simpler key binding that you can set up for this. But because I use Vim a lot inside Tmux, I also want to use the same key bindings for navigating through Vim splits. And there's this really nice plugin called Vim Tmux Navigator. Oops, I guess this didn't click properly. Vim Tmux Navigator. And all it does is it lets your, you navigate through Vim and Tmux splits seamlessly. Basically, all you have to do is install this plugin inside your Vim config. So inside my Vim config, I have this plugin installed. And then inside my tmux.conf, I just have to copy and paste this. So, um, and all it does is it allows you to navigate seamlessly between Vim and tmux splits. So let's see how that works. So I have two tmux splits right now, and I can open up a Vim session. Let's say I open up my ZSHRC, and let's say I want to split this now in horizontally. So I can still use Control J, Control K to do go up and down here. Let's say I want to split Tmux horizontally, so I can do Control A dash, and let's make these equal distant. So now you can see I can do Control J and K to go up down between Tmux and open Vim session if I have a vertical split here. So now everything works quite seamlessly, and that's great. Another cool thing is that we can reload our Tmux config with easy, a lot easily. When I bind R to it, that all that means is prefix plus R. So let's say I want to change the status style to be red, right? I save this file, and I can do Control A R, and you can see that it refreshed with a red background. And 
I'll just go back to black because I don't like bright colors here. So save, control A, R, and now it's refreshed. One cool thing is that I've enabled mouse mode, so actually I can just drag and drop these splits in Tmux, which is which is nice to use. I can also scroll up and down using my mouse scroll wheel, but I'll talk about a normal mode and how you do. One thing a lot of people have difficulty with in Tmux is copy pasting, right? So if I disable mouse mode, I can actually use the system to do some copy and paste. So if I do Control A, and then I set dash G mouse off. I can no longer drag and drop this. Um, I can no longer use my mouse to interact with the Tmux session, but what I can do then is select something, Control shift c and then I Control shift v here, so I can copy-paste using my regular system clipboard. But Tmux actually provides a whim-like way in which we can do copy-pasting, so we don't really need to use this. And I want to make sure that people understand this is not a Vim split here. So, and the cool thing is, let's say I am doing cat of this random HTML file, and that's a really long file. Now, because I've disabled mouse mode, how do I actually scroll through this theme accession? So, I do Control A, open square bracket to go into normal mode. And so, because I have actually enabled VI mode inside my um, inside my Tmux, I can use VI key bindings to navigate up and down through Tmux sessions. So if I go back to normal mode by hitting Control A, open square bracket, you can see that I can navigate through these 1800 or so lines. So I can just use VI key bindings and just navigate around it as if this was a VI file, even though this is a terminal session. So, And then I can just select to copy something. I can go to this other open Vim file, and then I can do Control A, close bracket to paste it. And so that's just copy paste inside Tmux, which confuses a lot of people. So hopefully you guys understand that better. And that's pretty much all there is to Tmux. You could rename the windows manually yourself if you don't want it to represent the running program. So you can do Control A, comma, and rename this to Cool Session. And so. Now, regardless of what's running, it'll be named something else. Um, so that's all there is to Tmux. Um, please like and subscribe. I'm trying to do a mix of Linux, C++, and Vim stuff, so let me know what you guys prefer, and I'll, I'll focus more on that. And I'll be linking my Tmux conf file down in the down in the description of this video, so please check that out if you guys just want to copy-paste. Although I run it pretty bare-bones, so there's not really much to it.